Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Noli, and welcome to Indie Game Sunday. Today I'm going to be playing Viking Sigar Adventure. I was sent this key by the publisher's game bin, and I can't remember the developer's name, but I'll put it down somewhere below. But I already played a little bit, and had to replay it because of distorted sound, thanks to OBS. So, yeah, this will be my second run of recording. Uh, so, so far, I can tell you guys, here's our daily chest where we get, like, daily rewards. Like, logging in and just accepting them. So it's kind of like a login daily, grind different levels, get further type of game. There's even a shop here where you can, like, go back and forth between your currencies. Wait a minute. Okay, I don't think that's how that works. No way that's how that works. I just got an idea of something to try. Okay, no, that's not how that works. Uh, I was thinking you could sell these back and forth if you get, keep gaining. But no, I don't think that's how that works. You would buy... Okay, you would get gold for getting this. And you would get that. Okay, yeah. No, that's not how it works. It looked like it at first. I was about to say, hold on. They may have done something that doesn't help them at all. But as you can see, there's different type of axes here. Uh, you can come back and buy these as you play the game. Ah, that's pretty much all of them. Here are all the stats that I put in since first playing it. This is pretty much melee damage, throwing axe damage, or throwing weapon damage. I think, I'm not really sure what the hell luck is. I'm guessing that's like crit or something. But here's how much gold you can get and stuff like that. Wait, hold on. Oh, chance of lives and hatches falling. Okay, I guess that one's actually really good to increase too. Uh, you also have daily quests too. You can also clear a mission, but I'll oh, clear a level without defeating monsters. Alright. So here is number three. Uh, this is the one I had difficulty on. One thing I can say about the game, one crucial thing that they need to fix is the loading time for this game. I don't really care about the daily. Uh, the loading time for this game is like really damn um, long. It took like five minutes for the game to start. And even then, there was a chance of it actually crashing when it starts. They are using Unity, which I don't know if that's the best thing to be using. But yeah just saying letting them know that it does take a really long time for the game to start uh, anything else nope but yeah there's the game I hated this the most for sure kind of sad I couldn't give you guys my first impression on the game but eh. Kinda happy to play a little bit more. Adjusting yourself on like falling is like really weird. I still don't understand that. I jump on her head and somehow. Really? But somehow I take damage. When the game even tells you that jumping on them does damage, but apparently you also have a chance of dying too. <laughs> cool, you know? <laughs> My last run was actually pretty bad because no axes or potions dropped for me. This was actually a lot better of a run. Yeah, 
Now I need you aiming at me. Thank you. Like, jeez. Kind of a good thing I'm replaying this. They were, like, really loud earlier. So I had, like, a lot of background noises going on, so... Eh. Hey, it works out. I gotta say, what was this game when, um... Like, the Nintendo 64 and stuff was out? Like, this game would definitely have been, like, really popular back then because it looks like one of those old classic games. Really? Sure. But then again, I probably should have threw the axe at him first. Just went to my normal throw an axe combo. Oh yeah, jumping and adjusting yourself is like really weird. Yes, you can hit the enemies with the box too. <laughs> But yeah, jumping and adjusting, if you like jump and adjust like even an inch or even just like tap the button, you, you're going to go like a whole freaking yard. I'm just kidding. You probably go like a whole inch if anything. And that's really annoying. Fighting that. Only to receive it. Trade. You can't really kite the enemies, you gotta sort of use your throwing axes as best you can. Which is why I need to increase my uh, luck and not receive that. For the love of God. Well then, that basically screwed me over. I have no more throwing axes or HP. Well, wait, what? Okay. Can I jump, dude? Thank you. Well, this is gonna be an annoying one. Yeah, trading with the wolf makes... Trading with the wolves are probably not, not the best thing. You probably just wanna use your throwing axe at the wolves. Trust me. It is not good to even attempt to touch them. Or at least hit them when their back is turned. Yeah, hitting them with their back is turned or hitting them with a throwing axe is way better. Alright. Let's go back. Try to finish this level. do that more often. Jeez. I'm definitely increasing my luck. I have to. Screw everything else. Luck is basically everything. Makes destroying barrels and enemies more worth it. something. God damn it. Jump. Jump. Thank you. But so far, the game's pretty neat after I um, played it a little bit. But definitely wish it was like 
these developers were like around in the old times, you know? And I missed that. Because I could definitely see this as being like one of those really old, old school PC games or Nintendo 64 for sure. And it could have like really took off. I say that a lot about like a lot of old school looking games. Because it kind of sucks that they weren't around at that time. But for some reason, this one aims at me. No axes. Better be careful. Because falling on the wolves, apparently, is not the best idea. They don't really follow you or anything, they just go through their own path. Just repeat our strategy. Because we don't have a platform. I can make sure I didn't miss anything over here. Okay, it doesn't like it. Just double check. You never be too safe. Finding getting enemies from behind is probably way better, for sure. Noted. Alright, let's go down the hole then. You do have a delay of how much you can throw your axes, by the way. Like, you can't just spam them. Seems like you get a lot of axes back. I guess it is sort of like fills it up once you get it. So that is kind of nice. God damn it. Really? Of course. I got hit twice. Go back up here and get this freaking coin. Hey, you, come here. Come, come here. Go right here. Perfect. Nope, nope, actually not perfect. Right there. There we go. So what's over here? Oh my god. No. no. Really? Oh, thank god. Okay, we're good. Really? You're a douche. But we got everything. If I really wanted to do it daily, I can go back to the first level. But we're going to do this last stage. We're going to call it there. Actually, let's let's go for the no kill. Basically, just got to finish the stage. We can always just come back and grab all the gold. What? Got distance. I think it was like way too high for me to jump. But yeah, I went for it. Come on. 
Thank you. Ah, oh, damn it. Really be what was the point over here again? That's the real question I should be asking. Yeah, okay, you know what? Screw that. That's not even worth it. It's honestly not. Is there wait a minute. I don't think there's another way over there. It's literally... Oh my god, I actually have to go up there. Wanted to see if I can kill you just doing that. <laughs> Alright, let's start over. I had like a really bad start off. Oh, it's raining this side. Okay, so I had to go down here. That's what it was. There's no point in doing that type of run right now. Like I said the first time, it, it's probably way better just to do that on the first stage. Oh crap. Ooh. Okay, so there's a button here that we have to push. Get that. I? Oh, it's like an inch there. I don't think you can go on there, though. Of course, it's not going to register it. No, it's not going to register it. Damn. You're being a douche spider. Oh, I actually can't. I had to take a hit there. I really hope it doesn't do what it did last time. Grab it, don't hit it. Yeah, if my audio is dis distorted this time, I'm just gonna no longer play the game. Or record for a while. So I can get my thermal face. Actually, even if I die, I'm going to try and end it off here, because <laughs> I have been playing the game for like eight min 18 minutes now. I can definitely say it's pretty neat. Try it out yourself if you really enjoy like, platformers, especially like pretty old school 3D platformers. I don't know why, it kind of reminds me of like a 3D version of Golden Axe. Okay, probably not like Golden Axe, but somewhat. <laughs> it seems like they got some a lot of enemies but here's the full map you got like a little bear thing right here oh you can actually click on it I didn't even know that I don't even know what he said to me but those sound like fighting words And then there's a dragon. Oh, there's fire plants too. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that has been Viking Cigars Adventure. With that said, I'm gonna end it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, peace out.